Hey, how's it going? Hello, I'm doing well, thank you. How can I assist you today? I'm just curious about the latest videos on the channel. The latest videos on WestGPT's channel are one, set up an X reply AI agent in five minutes. Boost your impressions fast. Two, chat GPT agent is live. Can it really do my work? Three, unlock Google VO three for free, three secret methods, 2025 tutorial. Would you like more details about any of these? No, that's okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Have a great day. What you just heard was an AI voice call agent. I have it set up to read all the information from my YouTube channel. So when people call in to ask for assistance, it can direct them to the appropriate information. Setting up a voice call AI agent is super simple. You can do it in under five minutes. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how. First, head on over to youraiagent.com. Your AI Agent is a comprehensive business suite of AI agents. It's a web app that I am building live on this channel. I'm the solo developer. So enter your name and email address, password, and then click sign up. It's gonna take you to the home page. And on the home page is where you'll see all the AI agents that we currently have available. You can scroll down, take a look of all the agents. The one we're looking for is inbound voice calls. This agent is currently in beta as we work out a few of the kinks, but it's an AI powered inbound calls agent to handle sales, appointments, answering support questions, and more. So click start now. Now there's a few things that you need to know about this agent. First, you can customize the agent's prompt, behavior, and preferred voice. So do you want it male or female? You can define clear actions for transferring or ending calls. So for example, if you want it to transfer a call to an actual phone number with a real person, you can set up keywords that when the person on the other end says those keywords, it transfers the call. Once activated, you'll receive a dedicated US phone number directing callers instantly to your low latency AI agent. And we're actually using one of the fastest LLM models in the background. And we do that because you don't want lots of dead air in between messages because then it doesn't sound like a natural conversation. Now I've tried this agent with some people and it actually tricked them into thinking that they were a real person. But if you have long breaks, people are gonna figure out it's AI and you want to sound as human-like as possible. So we're sacrificing a little bit of quality, not a lot, for speed. The max call length is 10 minutes. Anything over 10 minutes, the call will be disconnected. And there is some cost involved with this agent. It's 25 credits per minute. The dedicated phone number to rent is 500 credits per month. And the minimum balance required is 250 credits per call. And that's because a call can go 10 minutes. On the basic plan of your AI agent, you get 2,900 credits per month. So that will handle a lot of inbound calls. You will be completely set. Okay, first option is the voice settings. We have a bunch of voices right here and I'm adding more options each and every day. You can select one of the voices and then hit the preview button to listen to how it sounds. Welcome, say hello to Corolla, your trusted AI ally on a mission to make your life easier and more manageable. All right, a little bit of a British accent with this voice. And then the biggest part of this agent is the agent prompt. So in this input box, you're gonna input everything about your company, as much as you can fit in. I leave you with an example prompt to begin with, I found this AI calls agent works best when you follow this format. So you can just fill in your own company data here. I'm gonna go over it quickly for you so you can see what's going on. So quickly, this example is an AI voice assistant for Crescent Family Dental. The name is Ava, and the role is an expert receptionist for Crescent Family Dental. We have an objective, so it answers inbound calls, collects information, handles appointments. It has a few skills like data collection, polite and clear communication, strong knowledge of dental services, a short business overview, so what Crescent Family Dental does, important business information. If someone on the other line asks for this, let's say you are running this agent for a dental office and they call in and they ask for the address, the AI agent is going to say 123 Harmony Lane, Cityscape, California, 98765. The operating hours of the business, so when people call, they know when it's open. The services offered, like routine checkups, cleanings, fillings, and restorations, teeth whitenings, and veneers. Some accepted insurance providers, if the caller asks about insurance. We have AI voice assistant rules. 
And I like to add this at the end, call flow instructions. So step one, I want the agent to understand the reason for the call. Greet the caller and then ask, how can I help you today? And then I put in, if unsure, if it breaks down at any point, just have the AI agent say, let me connect you with someone from our team who can help and then use transfer call. We'll talk more about that in a second. But the second step is collecting patient information. I want them to ask for their first name, their last name, their company, et cetera, one at a time. And if the user indicates the task is complete or if they have no more questions, I want them to end the call. So hang up so it doesn't waste any more minutes. Go through and fill out this prompt with your own business information and your AI agent will know everything about you. There are a few more settings here. First, the welcome message. Obviously, when someone calls the number, the first person to speak is going to be the AI agent. So you can write here what you want that first message to be. For example, I want Ava to say, hey, this is Crescent Family Dentistry. How can I help you today? The next section is the transfer call number. So if you fill this in, the agent can use that transfer call function. If you don't fill this in, for example, you don't want to transfer the call to a real person, then you can't use that transfer call function in your agent prompt. It's not gonna know what to do, so that makes sense. You can enter your own phone number right here. I use my cell number. So if my AI agent takes a call from anywhere in the world, and then it's time to move that caller to the next step, I get them to transfer to my cell and I can take it on the road, and then right away they're connected to a real person who's me. And then last but not least, here's an email address for a call summary. I think this is a pretty cool feature of this AI agent. At the end of each call, the AI agent will write a detailed summary for what was talked about on that call. That way you can understand what the call was about. If you have the AI agent take any information, it's gonna provide that in that call summary as well. That could be an email address, a full name, a phone number, and you can also use that to troubleshoot. If you don't like how the AI agent is conversating with callers, you can start editing the prompt, changing some things up so that you start getting what you want from this inbound calls AI agent. When all of your settings are complete, don't worry, you can edit any of these things later. Just click the start agent button at the bottom. It's gonna take you to the workflows page where you can see all of your active and running AI agents. I created one of these a while ago. And when you create one, it gets you a new phone number. So this is your unique US phone number. And anytime somebody calls this, they're gonna be automatically connected to your AI agent. You can take this number, I'm gonna copy it, and put it anywhere, your social media pages, your Facebook, your website at the bottom of your email address in the signature, or share it with friends. This is uniquely yours, and this is connected to your personal assistant. If you don't wanna rent this phone number anymore, you can cancel this agent. If you click on the info button, you get some more information about this agent, like the last call summary. This button is where you'll edit any of the prompts. I can read here that the user called to inquire about Wes and his latest YouTube videos. The agent provided the title of the most recent video, but struggled to understand the user's follow-up questions regarding costs and a ban. If you want to try the inbound voice calls AI agent for yourself, I'm going to leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. Remember, our full plan at Your AI Agent is to automate every aspect of your company so that you can focus on the more important things like actually building out your product and making sales. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there later.